survival information and motivation. Hope everyone is well and staying focused. Training as well as preparing. Preparing is not just food and water. It's also tools. It's also gathering information. So this past weekend, I'm sure everyone's heard by now, Afghanistan has been taken over by the Taliban. They've been wanting to do it for some time and they waited for the opportunity and it took over. So a couple takeaways. Nobody's coming. I always say that. Nobody's coming. Be ready to defend yourself. Protect yourself. Be ready to grow your own food. Be ready to flee at a moment's notice if you get put in that situation. These things take planning. I know a lot of people don't want to hear about, you know, what's uh, current events, the news and such. Because the news is it tends to get you down and brainwash you or push you in another direction. So... Find that outlet, speak to people, but get that information on a regular basis because we never know what's going to happen. We have, uh, excuse me, plenty of thunderstorms over here in my part of town. Thunderstorms have been like every day. There's many cities that's on fire. You know, California every year, you know, they have their wildfire season. The places have their wildfire season, but this year they say it's a lot worse. Temperatures is up. Just being ready and being prepared. It just takes a few extra steps a few extra minutes out your day but it does take a dedication because it's much easier it's very easy to go on netflix binge watch some shows relax kick back because you had a hard day at work but what will that do for you in the future in the event of a natural disaster or a terrorist does that or a terrorist event um, attack so let's keep playing and keep preparing Thanks for tuning in for more two tips. Excuse me. Check us on Instagram as well as our YouTube. Freedom Forever. We out.